Hello everyone, Xstar sent me this kit of lithium ion AA batteries, and they claim that these batteries has a better performance than AA alkaline batteries, being the perfect solution for any retro portable console. So in today's video we're gonna test them and see if they are really that good. Their charger can hold up to 8 batteries, and it can charge lithium based batteries or nickel based batteries, and it can charge both AA and AAA batteries. The main difference of this battery is that this is a lithium ion battery, and because of that it is more efficient and lasts longer than the nickel metal hydride batteries. If we check the voltage, it gives 1.5 volts, the same as regular alkaline batteries. But lithium polymer batteries have a problem, they cannot be over discharged. So when these batteries are low in voltage, there is a special circuit inside that will cut the power entirely, preventing an over discharge and protecting the battery. The charger works with an USB type C port and the batteries have this LED inside. These LEDs shows when the battery is charging and when the voltage is low, they will start blinking as well. I managed to pick this moment where they died on my Game Boy, and you can see the LED flashing here for a brief period. And the charger can charge lithium and nickel batteries at the same time. It also detects when the charge is complete and stops charging. Now it's time to test their performance, and this is the time lapse on my Game Boy. and the alkaline batteries lasted 12 hours, but the X-Star batteries lasted 3 hours more. It doesn't seem much compared to the full result, but if you think that the Switch lasts 4 hours, that's a lot of gameplay time. But okay, we all know that the Game Boy Advance has rechargeable battery mods, and people won't be using AA batteries on these consoles anyway. So another use case for these batteries is the Virtual Boy. This little monster takes 6 AA batteries. And while modding this console is also possible, it's not that easy to do. And since the voltage in these batteries is 1.5 volts, it will reach the perfect 9 volts that the console needs. If you were to use regular nickel hydride batteries, they wouldn't be able to reach the correct voltage. The console would work, but it would probably die sooner, because the batteries wouldn't be able to hold that voltage for a long time. And here's the performance tests with the Virtual Boy. The alkaline batteries lasted 10 hours, and once again the X-Star batteries lasted 3 hours more. And these are the final thoughts. These batteries indeed last longer, and offers the correct voltage for AA batteries. It also has all of the safety circuitry for overcharge and overdischarge, and a low voltage LED indicator is a nice bonus. The only con is that it needs an Ethion Lion compatible charger. You can't charge these batteries with a regular battery charger. And that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.